Hey y'all, hey, I'm Andy here, and today I am filming my winter favorite video. So I have a cacophony of random things to share with you guys today. But before we get into that, I wanna encourage you to like this video, hit the subscribe button if you're interested, and then comment along the way if you have any input. So definitely do that because it helps my channel. Um, you know, if you wanna help my channel, if you don't want to, you know, do your thing. You don't have to. So I also wanted to touch base real quick on this lipstick I'm wearing. This is the Lip Power lipstick in the color Tiffany that I got in my, was it my Kinder Beauty box? Yes. Yes, it was. And I love it. It's beautiful. It's comfortable. It dries down to matte very quickly, which is nice, but it doesn't like all the moisture out of your lips. I'm a fan. And it matches my shirt quite well, which I did unintentionally, but still very cute. So I'm very happy with that. Now let's get into the favorites. These are not going to be in any order because I literally just have them strewn about. Oh, my phone is vibrating very loud. Uh, before I get into physically showing you things, I guess I want to tell you some things I can't physically show you. So Dry Race UK season two, I am watching it on the Wild Presents Plus app. If you are into LGBTQ plus content or just drag race in general. It is a fairly affordable subscription. I think it was like 30 some dollars for the entire year, which is amazing. And so I've had it for, I don't know, quite a long time now, several months. I've watched Drag Race Holland, Drag Race UK season one. So they're going to be having Drag Race Down Under, Drag Race Holland 2 I think is starting to cast, Drag Race Espana um, is coming soon, and then Drag Race Canada, they're casting for season 2 of that now, season 1 was great, Drag Race Thailand, the two seasons that it aired are on, no, only the second season is on, Wow Presents Plus, I don't know why, couldn't get through it um, all the way just yet, but I plan on going back to it at some point. Drag Race has kept me sane during this time period of being home constantly. I just, I can't, I can't recommend that app enough. It is just amazing. Or I guess it's more of a streaming service than an app, but I love it. If you like Drag Race, you have to be watching the international seasons. In my personal opinion, Drag Race UK first season and going into the second season are the best seasons. I think they're even better than the US seasons personal opinion but I love it so much and it's keeping me sane so that's definitely one of my favorites for winter um the next thing are two youtube channels that I have been um using for workouts quite a bit so I have been doing yoga with Adrian. I did her January breathe challenge or was it breathe or breath I don't remember um and I've been doing her videos into February as well but I have been now mixing in some Chloe Ting videos as well I I'm not going to be making any commitments to do her plans because they require somewhere between two and four videos a day and her videos honestly kick my butt. I am trying to be more active but I'm still a potato so I, I do one maybe two and I've also been mixing in using my treadmill as well and doing walks while watching brisk walks while watching YouTube videos so it, that's kind of my workout regime at the moment and I don't make a plan I just whatever one I feel like doing that day when I wake up I do so yoga with Adrian and Chloe Ting have been keeping me active lately what else do I have written down Poshmark oh my gosh about half of this rack here is stuff I still need to list on Poshmark you might see some shoes down here there go all the way across that wall that I've out actually already listed, although one pair just sold before I started filming, so I need to pack that up. But I've been posting so much on Poshmark. I've mentioned before that I had a friend that gave me a bunch of his stuff to post, so I do have a good deal of menswear on there. And I've got a lot of stuff that I've, has come from my personal closet. And then recently, um, Austin's stepmom has been cleaning out a bunch of stuff, so I've got some purses and shoes from her recently that I've been working on getting listed, and that should all actually be up by the time you see this video, and I just, I, I love Poshmark. I, 
I just think it's so much fun. It's been like a great little side hustle. I don't make enough for it to be like substantial. Like it might be enough in a month to pay a small bill, but usually, especially recently, I've just been keeping the credits on there and letting them accumulate till I find something else I want to buy. So that's my current plan. I'm sort of using it as my little, um, savings plan if you will. I'm saving money but not, not spending other money on clothes. I'm only spending the Poshmark money on clothes which is nice because then it means I'm also buying second hand which is great. But Poshmark man I've been loving it and like I said I will be doing a my selling as a hobbyist type video for Poshmark probably in March. I do already have up on the channel a selling or um, my buying experience for Poshmark, my first four items I ever purchased on Poshmark. That's already up on the channel. I'll put it as an eye link somewhere or we'll have it linked below or you can just click on my name down below and go a couple videos back because it's literally two or three videos back. <laughs> so um, yeah, check that out. I've been loving Poshmark. If you have clothes you're not using because literally let's be real, we're all wearing sweatpants right now list them on Poshmark if you don't think you're going to wear them again or things you've been holding on to because you know you're going to get back into them. But I mean, are we really going to lose weight and get back into all our clothes? Who knows? Just list, list your clothes, make some money, have fun doing it. Next item, I think we're moving on to actual items now. Let's talk about these microfiber cloths. This is the last pack that I actually had in a label so I figured I'd grab these. I got these on Amazon. I bought two six packs I believe and I love these. They are amazing. They're so soft. They are a decent size so I get pretty good amount of uses out of them especially if I'm applying a cleanser which I'll show you in a minute and using this to wipe the cleanser off instead of rinsing a cleanser off. These are just fantastic for that. So I've been loving these and I'm gonna link to these down below with my Amazon affiliate link. And I love them. They're so soft too. And they come in really nice little neutral colors, which I like too. Not neutral, but like muted. So the, I don't even know what these are called, like makeup melts or butter cleansers oil cleansers, gel cleansers, whatever they're called, but I, the makeup melting cleansers of them. I've been using the Sly Makeup Melting Butter Cleanser from Drunk Elephant, and I really love this. I have another one that came in a subscription box that I'll use up after this, but I'm going to repurchase this because I really, really like this. It's just such a nice, it just gets the job done and it doesn't burn your eyes, which I like. And I really, really like the consistency. I've tried oil cleansers, didn't really like them as much. This I really, really, really love. So I'll be repurchasing that. I guess since we are along the lines of cosmetics, I'll just keep going in the cosmeceuticals realm. The Soothing Touch Vanilla Chai Lip Balm. This has been a long time favorite and I've gone through um, quite a few of them <laughs> in my lifetime, but I just wanted to give this a shout out because my lips get particularly dry in winter and I've been using the crap out of this. So I love that. I wanted to give a little bit of a shout out to the deodorant I'm using right now. Now I will say, I don't think this is effective, is as effective as the Pacifica one, but, um, this is a pretty darn good one. So I wanted to give it a shout out. The Ores and Alps natural deodorant. Uh, Fresh Ocean Splash. Yep, it's vegan. It says right on the back. I think I bought this on Amazon, maybe? Sorry, that's my email going off. I'm pretty sure I bought this on Amazon, and it's a men's deodorant, or at least it's marketed towards men, I think. It smells amazing. The smell is just beyond. And it's pretty effective. Now, I will say, when I'm doing them Chloe Ting workouts, and I'm getting real sweaty, it does kind of lose its oomph, but... Aside from that, it seems to hold up through just daily wear, which a lot of natural deodorants on me, a sweaty gal, just don't do. So, quite a good one. And the last sort of cosmeceutical type thing is a scrub, a body scrub. This is from the Seaweed Bath Co. It is the detox exfoliating body scrub with French clay and coffee extract. And... This came, I want to say this was in, 
a petite four box though. I don't really know which box sent me this. I love this. The granules that exfoliate are so much finer and smaller than your typical sugar scrub. Way smaller than the herbivore one. Smaller than the um, the KP scrub from First Aid Beauty. I just really enjoy this. Now it obviously doesn't have the active ingredients that the one from First Aid Beauty has. But has, sorry, I'm like, I can't talk. But um, I love the fine grain of this. I just feel like it's not as harsh. It doesn't like, you can be a little more careless with being like super gentle on yourself. You can just kind of go to town because you're not really like hurting yourself, you know what I mean? You're not tearing up your skin as much. It's just really fine and I still feel soft after using it. It just is way gentler. So this is one I probably would repurchase. I do have some other scrubs uh, in my stash from my boxes and whatnot that I need to get through and try out. But this is one that if I ran out, I'd probably buy this. Now, I probably should have mentioned this item right when I was talking about fitness, but this new yoga mat I got, this is the Hugger Mugger yoga mat and I bought it off of Amazon and it is not cheap but it is natural rubber which means when it shows up at your house it's gonna stink for a week before uh it really starts to wear off the natural rubber smell and I will say if you're still up close on it it still kind of smells and the smell does kind of stick to your hands but if you're washing after you work out anyway it's fine but this mat is the best anti-slip mat that I have tried. It's the only anti-slip mat that I've tried. But I read the reviews, there were three in particular that I was looking at, the different brands. And after going through all of the reviews on those individual Amazon posts for the three different mats I was looking at, this one just seemed like it was gonna be my best bet, even though it had the smell. So I can say for sure it is fantastic. It's got two different sides and both sides are different textures. So if you find that the less texturized side even though it is pretty grippy it's just not enough for you you can always flip it onto the other side and that side's even more textured i have used it on both sides and i do like the more texturized side but the um less texturized side also works really well so very much a fan of this along the lines of working out as well you guys know i love girlfriend leggings and i have tried my first pair of girlfriend shorts and I can report back that I love them. I love that they have pockets and they fit great. I might like them better than the pants. Who knows? Uh, they're just really, really good and I could see myself maybe buying a pair or two more of these if they happen to release them in compelling colors or rather personally compelling colors. So yeah really like the shorts can definitely recommend them i'm starting to work my way through their product line and i'm quite pleased with these i'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me talk about these but the uh loft blue and gray sweatpants still love them basically living in them at this point they are fantastic the softest sweatpants you will find i promise you they are amazing and I'm also wearing right now um, the accompanying sweatshirt to that line of sweatpants in red and I love this. I think these particular sweatshirts just kind of look like sweaters and they look actually really nice. But they're also super soft. Let me tell you, when you're lounging around your house and you don't have a bra on, they feel fantastic on the girls. There is no chafing or discomfort. I had ordered a sweatshirt, just a regular like crew neck sweatshirt or something from J. Crew, and the fabric was so coarse and uncomfortable. And I'm sure it was just normal fabric, but I'm used to how soft and wonderful this is now. So these are amazing. I will link to these down below. They definitely still have them in stock. Next, I have two coats to share with you that I purchased, I guess, in late 2020. And obviously it's winter, so I'm wearing coats, and I bought both of these recently. So the first is this teddy bear coat from J. Crew. 
I'm obviously obsessed with it because it's like a pinky color, a rosy tone, and I was so, so happy when I bought this, and the first time I wore it, I was already obsessed with it, and I have to say, going into the colder months, it is actually very warm, even though it doesn't zipper, it keeps you very, very warm. I have very frequently, and by very frequent, frequently, I mean like, not that frequently because I don't leave the house, but anytime we get in the car, I will get very hot in this coat because it keeps you that warm you don't even need to blast the heat in the car it is a great coat if they still have these in stock i will link it below and then i also have this tiger force coat that i found on amazon and this goes um pretty much to my lower calf because i'm very short i'm only five feet tall I've been, as i've mentioned a million times in these videos but if you're taller it'll probably go mid calf to upper calf on you and the cool thing about this coat is that it has a dual zipper system so one actually zips up and then the other one unzips that you can pull behind it so you can zipper just across your torso and have across your legs open if you want to have a little more flexibility to walk and you aren't as like tightly enclosed in the coat which is really nice and I just super duper love this. It is a fantastic coat. And once again, another one that will keep you extremely warm. The last item I have to share is this Red Star Massaging Star. I get a lot of tension in my upper back when I work out. And this just really knocks it out. So Austin, I'll rub this in my sore spots and I will feel almost immediately better it really gets the knots out and it is hefty you want to be careful with it but it is a fantastic purchase i cannot recommend this enough if you have upper back pain so that is everything i have to share in today's video i will link to everything below if you enjoyed this video you can give it a thumbs up if you have any comments or questions you can leave them down below and if you'd like to stick around for a while you can hit the subscribe button i'll talk to you all later bye